So moving on to the next award. So it, this might be a surprise to everybody. It will be the biggest achievement of the year. So this is obviously, we've had a few awards this year. Um, we're looking at, we've reached the semifinals in the EFL Cup. We've reached the FA Cup quarterfinals as well. We were shouting out to as well, but just over to you, Alex, what would you say Leicester City's biggest achievement of the year was? Well, I'm going to go with James Vardy, uh, Jamie Vardy winning the uh, Golden Boot because he's 33 years old. He's the oldest ever to win the Golden Boot, and not a lot of people expected him to win. And especially in the last couple of weeks, everyone expected, you know, you know, anyone to catch up to him at this point. And he maintained it, was able to score his 100th Premier, goal, Premier League goal at the same time. And, you know, I think that's the uh, – there's a lot of different op- – things that you can actually look at to say that this is the biggest accomplishment. But I think on a whole, having Jamie Vardy win the golden boot for the, you know, at the age of 33 is, is the biggest achievement for this season. Yes. Yeah, so that's a definitely a good one. It, I think coming into this season, we knew he was challenging and he, we knew he was underrated, but to, to, if anybody was going to come in and think he was going to get the golden boot with people like Aguero, Bamiang, this year is definitely one of them. And apart from the Jamie Vardy golden boot, is there any other things that you'd say was the achievement of the year? Uh, I think we've got it as another nomination a bit later, but the 9-0 against Southampton to go away to a Premier League team and batter them 9-0. I don't care how poor of a team they were at the time, to go and do that to another Premier League team, that's just ridiculous. Yeah, that's actually one of the nominations as well. So uh, just on that as well, J- James, any other ones that you can think of that for this year would be a six su- you would deem a success? Um, I think start of the season, if you'd have said fifth in Europa, most fans would have bit your hand off. Um, I, I think, however, we were third, 14 points clear. So getting to the Europa is not really a success anymore, although it would have been at the start of the season. Um, so for me, I think I'm with Alex, it's the Jamie Vardy. Um, yes, he has bad games. Yes, he goes lost in some games. But you know that he's always there and will always come up with the goods now and again. Um, and to win that golden boot, I, I mean, everyone was surprised when we won the league and he didn't win the golden boot. But, but for a team that's basically bottled third position and finished fifth, for him to still win that golden boot is a huge achievement. So I think that's it for me. I, t- I totally agree. So what we had for the biggest achievement of the year, we had just the three things that were mentioned. So Jamie Vardy with Golden Boot, Europa League qualification and Southampton away, which we'll definitely get onto in a bit as well. So overall, when we put the Twitter poll out, there was 38% of people voted for Jamie Vardy Golden Boot, uh, 30% of people voted for Europa League qualification and 32% voted for Southampton away. So I'd agree, Jamie Vardy, um, I think we'd all agree that Jamie Vardy Golden Boot was definitely one of the achievements and something we didn't think that would happen this year because of things that I've mentioned. With Bearing in mind, we've got some world-class players in the Premier League. Uh, Aubameyang nearly catching him at the end. Danny Ings needs a special mention as well because what a season he's had with how clinical he's been for Southampton. And, and Aubameyang and all sorts of other players, that are Salah and Mane as well. So there's definitely, for Jamie Vardy to get it, is, is, is a truly truly great achievement which i think so yeah for our for our award for biggest achievement of the year i'd give it to we'd give it to jamie vardy uh 